Hey guys, how's it going? James here from Cardio etc. I just wanted to show you um, a quick wee video. I'm installing a stereo into this Subaru Outback 2006 here. Bit of a funny one. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have you know looked at wanting to um, do this, but obviously struggle because of the fitting kit requirements. So we're installing a Pioneer uh, CD and Bluetooth stereo. Um, Location-wise, we're putting the stereo up here in this top location because it already had in it uh, the fitting kit which allowed for a regular Subaru uh, DIN pocket to go in there so that's where we're going to mount the stereo and that's going to be all good wiring wise I just wanted to show you basically um, what I've done uh, you know just because you could do it you know quickly but I want to show you like a nice professional sort of way to do it let's turn that light around so I don't have a glare on the lens there we go so here is the factory Subaru plug. Now, of course, you could get a hookup lead and just wire your stereo loom straight onto that and then just run it up to the top there. But for the sake of professionalism and having it all look good, I quite like to leave the factory stereo connected to power so that it uh, turns on and matches the display, like the display of the stereo matches the display of the heater. So it all looks good when it's all going and not just half going. So I like to leave that connected. So what I do is down here, the factory plug, around about Oh, that's about a couple inches in I cut the speaker wires just cut them all off and that gives me a good amount of length to attach my speaker wires from the new stereo um, loom 2 set so I connect all those up there then what I do I, is I attach or oh, maybe a couple of feet of um, single core red and yellow wire to the red and yellow wires of the uh, factory oh sorry not the factory of the new stereo um, wiring harness and I like to run them all the way backwards and then back down here and splice onto the power supplies for the and you can do the same with illumination if your stereo has it and I splice them onto the power supplies for the factory stereo so now the wires come from here they run all the way up they're nicely loomed up it loops up comes all the way back down and splices on and now this will be able to run up to the top there nice and tidily the factory one will plug in and everything will look good and go so I'll get the stereo mounted and show you what it looks like when it's all done. You'll also notice I have here the, wait, where does it say it? I have the steering wheel control, um, steering wheel controls wired up. Now this Subaru Legacy, uh, sorry, Outback, is actually a very funny one. It's a 2006 model, which is when they were first starting to delve into steering wheel controls before all of them had them. And it's a very funny system that you have to get around and quite difficult to be honest I just spent the last sort of two hours investigating how to get it to work um, so if you want to see how I got those wired up check out my other video which I will release at the same time as this one on how to wire up the steering wheel controls for them so again it's a 2006 Subaru Outback I imagine the legacy will be the same with the mode seek volume and mute buttons so yeah I'll come back to you with the stereo all mounted and looking good and show you the rest of it. I haven't done the microphone yet but that's all I have to do and then get the stereo in there and it'll be done. Right okay so I've got the microphone mounted coming out here where it's going to be of any use. I've got obviously the wiring all done for the stereo, steering wheel controls done as I said earlier. I've got my stereo here mounted in these brackets which were already in the dash holding a pocket initially and I've got an aerial adapter. Now with the aerial adapter it may be different depending on where you are, but our ones are that annoying length of short where they kind of reach but kind of don't. So what I do is I plug it into the stereo first and then thread the back end through the hole and then usually, sometimes, hopefully it'll reach down and connect. So let's try and put this in with one hand. Um, actually, first of all, I need to get the wiring for the stereo and thread it up here, if I can. Like that and you want to do the, the new stereo uh, first before you put the old one back in because you still need to be able to arrange wiring and stuff down here microphone the main loom steering wheel controller and then this aerial adapter harness has to pop down that hole then we just sort of slot it in that has to come out right under there okay now the aerial adapter which has gone where
Oh, I see. You got ear adapter, female end, and the male end. Is that right? Yes. Just reaches perfectly. You can see it there. Oh wait, does it reach though? Yes, it does. Just. It's it's direct straight, but it's not tensioned too tight, so it's okay. So now I can turn this key on and make sure that it turns on and everything still works. Pioneer. Okay, set up. Yes, quickly, what time is it? One. Okay, so for setting the steering wheel controls, I just want to go menu, system. Let's see if we can get rid of that glare. There we go. Backwards a wee bit to S remote. Go to preset. Go along to Subaru 1 Shadup, press volume up. One second, now press volume down. Completed, and it's done. So now if I go source to radio, say, I should be able to oh, turn the volume down with the steering wheel. Yep, mute. Yep, mode. Goes through the sources, that's good. Seek. If you push it once, it goes through the presets, and if you hold it, it seeks up. Bloody good. And now I can put the screws back in. Check AM works. That's how you know you got a good aerial signal. Seek up. Sit down. You don't want to be yep, I've got AM, so that's good. And you want a job that gets you up loud in the first year, right? Then why not consider a subconscious? You can choose to study close to home work and learn about the residential center. Take the national certificate in agriculture and get the skills and qualifications you need to work on cheap and beef farms. And you'll gain a huge amount of knowledge you need to be work ready for an industry that needs great people like you. Visit futurefarming.co.uk today and don't forget to inquire about the early enrollment discount. Tell us that it's the future of farming. Want your APL base with up to 30% off? It's on now. Must go 25% off with free stock. Job code 25% off. And get a free phone cover. All basic quad dry farms on sale. Check out the new winter range, which includes 150 water proof range jackets, 150 full mint and winter casual jackets, cotton and wool jackets, all on sale. Quad dry field base sale. Junction is on now with up to 30% off. There we go, stereo's in, looks good. That looks pretty good to me guys, what about you? Can you tell me what you think in the comments? So now that I got the new stereo in, I can now put the original one back in and get the uh, centre console back together. Just want to move the gears down. Factory radio connected up back up to the factory wiring, and of course, the heater plug. There we go guys, I've got the center console back, back together, console back together. I'll quickly pop that panel and stuff back up and then go back over it for you. So there we go guys, new stereo in the Subaru Legacy 2006. Sorry, it's not a Legacy, it's an Outback, I keep saying Legacy. Um, factory stereo, see it looks so much better when it's like powered on and matches the display of the heater as well, rather than just it looking like, because if you don't connect it to power, that's what it's going to look like the whole time. So it just looks so much better with it powered on, even though it's not being used, obviously you can turn the volume right up to maximum and nothing happens. Disconnected from the speakers and the aerial, but um, where this one is now connected to, but it, yeah, that's why I do it like that guys, it just looks a bit more professional, a bit nicer. And of course, as you saw, steering wheel controls work, mute, um, seek up, and if I hold it, on CD mode it fast forwards and then down as well and mode changes through the sources. Awesome. 
so this is one of a few ways you can put a stereo in one of these cars guys um, obviously you can either spend the money and get the expensive fitting kit which replaces this whole unit uh, with a new heater um, control and a hole for a double din stereo or single din with a pocket you can do it that way the expensive way or you can um, either hopefully your legacy outback will have one of these trim kits in it already if it doesn't if it's just got like the flap down pocket you can either try and source one of these from online I know they're available in America or you could try and find one at a wrecker alternatively if you have this dash piece here which has a big hole and a navigation screen in it you can actually put new doubled in stereos up here the trick with them though is that they have to be mechless so no CD player because in behind all of this I didn't show you it but there's a great big chassis rail which runs the whole width of the car a big thick rail of metal and it only allows for a certain amount of depth to go in I like about that sort of much so it would have to be a mechless um, doubled in stereo for instance the Parrot Asteroid Smart or the Alpine ILX 007E two stereos of which I have installed in these top locations the other thing about doing that though is that it does have to be a slightly custom fit because generally those screens uh, come on some sort of um, brackets which aren't regular DIN so you have to make your own brackets and mount the stereo in and make it look good yourself but it is possible. So hopefully this video has been enjoyable for some of you or helpful in some way. Um, if you enjoyed it or, or it helped you give it a like rating. Uh, if there was something that I brushed over that I didn't explain clearly enough or show you guys and that you're curious about or if you've got any questions definitely drop me a comment and I'll do my best to answer all of them. And yeah anyway if you, if you enjoyed the video just give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for any reason even if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs up. If you like car audio subscribe to my channel because I've got lots of car audio stuff and again guys thanks for watching.